Last week, the Postman team did something absolutely crazy. They released Postman for the web. And I'm not talking here about another Google Chrome extension or something like this. No, it's Postman that can run directly in your browser. So in this video, we're gonna take a first look at this completely new product, completely new functionality of running Postman in a browser, see how it goes and if it's useful for you. So let's get started. Let's jump in directly into the Postman for the web thing. In order to use it, we'll find a link in the video description or you can simply log in into your Postman account. And once you're logged in, you may notice here right in the beginning this build, uh, it also has this beta label. And when you click on it, practically the Postman app, as you know it, will open up. The interface is absolutely the same. There are, of course, some minor differences. But if you have used Postman in the app, in your browser, it will look more or less the same. Just to exemplify it, I'm going to open up a new tab and let's create a post request. I'm going to use for this httpbin.org. I'm going to submit here a post request. And when you do this for some APIs, you may notice that you cannot actually send the request from the browser itself. It says here that the browser does not support a cross-origin request. I think overall the error is a bit confusing. The idea is that browser have this security mechanism built in. Maybe you have heard the term in the past, it's called course, and it's about not allowing the browser to make requests from a JavaScript context to other websites without those websites, without those servers or APIs explicitly allowing a particular domain to make that request or simply saying that any domain can make a request. And the reason for that is to protect your data. You don't want to end up on a website and have that website maybe make requests to Facebook reading out your profile information or making requests to your bank if you are locked in in parallel at the same time. So this is a very important security feature and it works great for a lot of websites. Unfortunately, in the case of Postman, it doesn't work so great because if you're doing API development, we, you kind of need to do this. This problem doesn't exist in the app itself because it is not a browser. It doesn't run in a browser context. So this cross-origin requests are possible. So the solution in this case is to use the Postman desktop agent. This is another piece of software that you need to install on your computer. And with this agent, practically the website will redirect the request to the agent and the agent itself will make the request for you. I have already downloaded it. I can simply click here on use the desktop agent. Uh, you can easily switch to the browser agent. Right here in the right corner, you have like this play button. And if you click, you can select which agent you want to use. For most cases, I think the browser agent will not work so well. So I definitely recommend if you want to try this out to install the Postman agent locally in your computer. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And the installation process is pretty similar to the way you install the Postman app. Now, of course, this kind of defies the whole thing of having things in your browser. The way I understand it, it's still a work in progress and probably will get better in the future. But just to be able to try it out, this is how it works. Now I've been able to submit this request. I can see from the status bar that the Postman agent is running. I have it right here. I can click on it. And what this does, it opens up practically a server that's running on your computer on this specific port. And it's another piece of software that you have to install in order to use this. But apart from this, if you're looking at the functionality, Everything that you had inside the Postman app is also available here on the cloud. And you can easily switch the workspace. All the collections and everything that you have are still available here. So from this point of view, if you're like kind of on the go and you want to simply see your collections or to do something, you log into a browser and then bang, you will have all the collections, everything that you have related to your Postman account easily available here. 
Now, even if my internet connection is definitely not slow, I did notice some delays when loading sometimes the collections or sometimes opening the collection runner. So you generally need to have a good internet connection in order to properly use this tool. Also, I tested out it doesn't work if you're in offline. So the browser will not store the application itself. If you're offline and you haven't loaded this website yet, where you can open up new tabs or something like that, then you cannot use it. And then even like switching workspaces or something like that will also require the internet connections. So from that point of view, compared to the Postman app, you not really have this functionality available here. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you if you need to use this while you're traveling or while maybe you have like your internet connection is dropping, you're flying or something like that. Need to keep that in mind. But apart from that, as I mentioned before, it pretty much feels, looks and works the same as the Postman app. Please remember, this is just the first release that the Postman team has put out there. The general idea is to have people try it out, to give feedback. So if there's like any feedback, uh, you can go back to the Postman team. I will also post some links in the video description so you can submit any ideas and any feedback regarding this. From my point of view, I think there's still a lot of things that can be improved and there's still some minor bugs here and there. But overall, I'm quite impressed that the general idea is the same. So apart from the agent and apart from that browser, the website itself may be at times a bit slower. It is the same product. So if you already know the product, then you can easily use it in your browser. So finally, some ideas about this new product and how it goes. First of all, I have to congratulate the Postman team for trying things out for coming up with new ideas and trying to stay on top of what's going on and generally following the principle of failing fast of just putting something out there getting feedback from the users and trying to put it back into the product i think this idea overall has a lot of potential but currently as it stands it's not really usable directly from the browser at least for the kind of work that i'm doing developing apis Having to install an additional agent that runs on my computer sort of defies the purpose of having everything in the browser. But nevertheless, I think there are ideas and I think there's a lot of potential. I can easily imagine maybe the Postman team offering like a cloud runner or something that can run requests on their own infrastructure or allowing companies to define their own internal runners so that all the clients can just connect to a server and use that respective agent for running the requests without having each individual install this additional Postman agent on each computer. And by not having to install the Postman agent in your computer, you can even theoretically use this functionality from your phone, from a tablet, or any other device that is not Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And that definitely has a lot of potential because then you can easily connect, open any browser, and then you can start working in Postman. Sometimes you may need something like that. Generally thinking, there are many things that are moving to the web. There are many applications that are moving to the web, especially for us as software developers or testers. We still have a lot of tools on our computers and definitely having the Postman app on the computer in many cases, it simply makes sense. It's not something that it's unusual. We still have an IDE, we still have Postman, we still have many other tools that we use in our day-to-day -day situation. There are a lot of tools that are moving to the web. So we have seen in the recent years a lot of IDEs that can run software on the web. And you can easily imagine in the future doing more development directly from the browser and also having the Postman tool also available in a browser can really make things easy. Can, you can switch from one computer to the other in an ideal situation without having to install anything. So it's definitely thinking forward in terms of how things are going and making Postman ready for the web is a step forward. There's definitely many things and many learnings that need to happen. But anyway, as I mentioned, we're still far behind simply using our browser for web development, for general software development and testing in general. So in a nutshell, I don't think this product is ready for general use right now. I don't see a lot of advantages like running the browser. 
I find that the app works just fine. It doesn't have any delays. I can use it even if I don't have an internet connection. And in general, the, the feel of having the app itself is, as it stands currently, better than using it in a browser. But that's just me. Please try it out. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the section below. And if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more tutorials or reviews like this. And hopefully I'm going to see you next time at another tutorial. Bye-bye.